Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I have for you a massive tack haul, and by massive, I mean like mucho grande massive. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. Basically between Labor Day sales and breaking my foot, I did a lot of sale shopping and a lot of I'm sad I can't ride for who knows how long shopping. I guess we'll start with pants first because apparently I got three pairs of breeches that I didn't even realize I know I bought three pairs. Oops. First pair is Taylor Swartzman's. They're brown with the leopard and leopard is like so me, like anybody who knows me. I'm either Janice from Friends or Fran from the nanny with my leopard obsession. So when I saw these, I just had to get them. So yeah, leopard goes with everything. Next is, let me look a little more professional over her. <laughs> professional, I have my hair in a messy bun. What am I talking about? Okay, that's not working. All right, next is a pair of Goto breeches. They are the ones that have the zipper in the back. I don't know the model, but I'm pretty sure these are the model that retails for $220. And I've had a couple pairs of Goto breeches before, and I liked them. I just wasn't... I had the black with the white piping, and I'm just not the contrasting piping kind of person. <laughs> so I found... I sold those, got these, and I'm really excited to try them. They have the grippy knee patches. Yeah. If I have a broken foot and fell off a horse, clearly I need some grippies. Next is another pair of tailored. It's the light gray pewter color, I believe. Yeah. And these are just side zip off eBay. Really good condition. Hmm. Okay, so on the whole clothing thing, I also got this unicorn hoodie. It's just like a heather gray, white drawstring, and gold unicorn. And I like apparel that is like subtly equestrian. And I mean, it's it's cute. All right, so I'm just going to grab stuff. Next is I have a full set. So a set of four of these, and these are the Tough One Refresh Quick Wraps. They're the same style and technology as Back on Track, but at literally half the price. And I've had Back on Track products before, and they feel and look exactly the same. So I have high hopes for these when I will have a chance to use them. I'm not going to grab all four of them, but I also have uh, another set of trailering boots. I have three horses and I only had two sets. I have three horses and only had two sets of trailering boots. And once I had an accident in a trailer, so I'm super paranoid making sure my horse's legs are protected inside of the trailer. So picked up another set of those off Facebook. Next is just a leather girth loop. My search angle does not have the clip. I have a Dion flash attachment. I think it's really cool that it comes with the two different kinds of adapters and I love Dion stuff and so yeah <laughs> next is another just plain black pair of smart pack standing wraps because I have more horses than I do wraps and stuff <laughs> clearly that means I need to go shopping all right next is so I did break my foot so I went on a huge safety kit because it was kind of a weird accident and I got these on massive clearance and my favorite color is yellow slash gold. So <laughs> when I saw these, I had to get them. They're the Tech Stirrups Venice or to say, I think they're the Venice ones, but they're the safety stirrups and the wide tread. And also it got me on my stirrup kit because I have another pair because of where my brake is and where the plates got put in, I need a wider footbed. And oh, hello. I have two saddles. One is my normal CWD one. And then one is my, I have my old saddle. That's a backup that I normally break babies in or horses that are newer to me, or if it just fits them better. And so these will go on my training saddle. And then for my CWD saddle, I got a pair of free jumps. They're just the classic ones. I like just the look at this style a little bit better. Um, and they have the white footbed and these little spiky things, holy cow, those things are going to hold you in. And then obviously the safety feature, they're just the all black ones too. Well, that's not new. I don't know why that's here. Next is just a simple, it's another baby pad. It's just the Godo one. Next is a hat <laughs> and it says you are now being judged, which this is my all time favorite hat. My camera's over there, but I keep forgetting. So that's why it looks like I'm not looking at the camera. We'll get there eventually. 
Next is a set of trailer cameras. I got this off Facebook, cheap, all the parts are there and it does work. Thank goodness, cause that'd be awkward. Um, just so I can see what the horses are doing when I'm in the trailer. I'm in the trailer, when they're in the trailer. I've been wanting to try one of these on Leo, but they're kind of expensive for something I wasn't sure was gonna work. And then I found, again, on Facebook, a happy mouth hack a bit because he likes to hack more and I do, but the hack more is a little too much noise pressure for him sometimes. Um, so I think this is a nice combination <laughs> fit. And then I got a Lemu, Lemu? <laughs> and then I got a Lemu, um, nose band cover. Next is just a pair of like nubby Tom Thumb kind of spurs. And I got my business name put on it. So it just says Bombardier engraved on it. I just thought something else I don't have in here. Where do I know where it's at? It's a leather cleaner. This is by the Smart Pack one. It's like your two in one. And if they had a candle that smells like this, I would buy like 10. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. A bottle of SMZs because I have baby horses and they like to hurt themselves on nothing. Next, and I actually have two of these. Just one is a 46 inch and one is a 52 inch. But this is the 46 inch. It's just a Smart Pack new air girth. <laughs> has the neoprene lining. I love the Professional Toys Ventec, but my horse's bodies have changed and I needed some different size girths. And I got these because they're about half the price and they're pretty comparable to them. I obviously haven't used it yet, but by the look and feel, there's a lot of similar similarities. I have an Eagle Gold hat, has the bronze trim on one side and then it's the flip model. So then it has black on the other side. I had a different Eagle Gold half pad, but I wasn't a huge fan of the coloring. And then so I found this and I like the bronze. I think it's different. Um, so I picked this one up and sold my other one. And it, before I fell off last my rude Leo, this is what pad he was using. And I really liked him in it. And this thing holds your saddle in place like nobody's business. Again, growing babies, training horses, all the justification to buy stuff. <laughs> it's just a lame as cell memory foam half pad. And at, for the price, these are really, I was really impressed with. The quality of this and the feel and I think it's a good half pad and a good staple to have in a training program. I already have an Ogilvy pad but I've had it for six years maybe maybe even seven and no six years and my cover needs some repairs done on it just some loose stitching which I used the heck out of it and so I just got a plain white one um to use for showing if I have a horse that needs to go in an Ogilvy and so I can use this while my other one gets replaced and my plan is to get my business name either embroidered right by the spine or down here on the right hind portion of it all right next is I think this is a good investment for every rider to have and I have the hit air vest so it has one canister in it again I'm a huge thing on safety especially how random my accident was and I also have a t normal temporary style cross country vest that I really like. Um, so I have both of those. I think every rider should have one of the two. And the hit air doesn't get hot and I live in Florida. So that's a huge plus, but I highly recommend. Next are major splurge items that I got before I got hurt. <laughs> and I was so sad I haven't had a chance to use them. But CWD had an end of line sale. And so they had a lot of their tack pretty heavily discounted and so leo got just a regular three-point breastplate these go to the billets cbd logo on either side bridge style detachable running martingale and then just the part that goes underneath his chest i love cbd stuff their stuff's awesome and like i said this is a major splurge item it's a new cbd figure eight bridal gosh this thing is so good like the padding is insane like I just love it oh what's that oh and then I have a pair of Antares rubber reins that I got again off Facebook at a pretty good deal and they match really well and then again this is another piece that I want to have for training because I'm sure at some point I'll have a horse that needs it it's a figure eight nose band by CVD it has a clip for the back of the nose and it's the elastic nose portion. So I think it's really cool. I like tack a lot, and that's a piece that I'm glad I have, and who knows when I'll need it. <laughs> Next is, I've had this for a little while. 
Um, but I figured I'd go ahead and include it since it was here. This is just a plain hunter bridle. It's for Lumi. He's my three year old. And some lace strains. Super schooling quality. But for babies, it's a perfect starter bridle. Oh, I've had this for a while, but it's just a cop size fancy stitch running martingale. I've had that for a few years now, but I'm not sure why it's here actually. This is a figure eight bridle padded monocrown. It's the Smart Pack Harwich one, and I got this for Leo as his schooling bridle and to keep his snaffle on. So, really like the quality. I had one of these bridles a long time ago and I wasn't impressed with the quality, but they definitely stepped it up over the years and I actually recommend this bridle, especially when they have a sale. I have this leader, but it's a Baker halter. This will be for Leo as his barn halter. I haven't been doing much with them, so I haven't taken it out there. But once I'm back, he has a nice pretty Baker halter. I got four of these and they're ice vibe, just the ice packs though, but the ice packs are Velcro. And I saw a lot of comments and reviews that do this as well, but they just use this as a simple eye strap and they're super affordable. And I was just feeling it. So I got the ice vibe cooler cause it was pretty good deal. And I mean, might as well. I got a new helmet. I was kind of needed one anyway, but after the fall, I was definitely like, let's just do it. And it's just a 1K shadow matte, solid black one. I love the wide brim and this helmet, it fits me really well. And I think it's pretty attractive or as attractive as a helmet can be. Next is just a simple baker sheet. Got it off Facebook. It's in Leo size and it's a really good condition. So I might get it embroidered with my business name on it as well, but, um, it'll be a steal the sheet for shows for him. Next is, this is the midway, but I got the turnout sheet as well. It's just the horse swear Neo. Like I said, this is midway. It's in navy and red. I think it's super, super pretty. And it has a good fit to it. I like the quality, the price points there. So we'll see how it holds up with the babies in the winter. And then last but certainly not least is a CBD soft shell jacket with a detachable hood. I've had, so I own a online tax store. It's not really a tax store. I buy and sell a bunch of tax. So I always have new stuff coming in and helping fellow equestrians get quality items or maybe something on their wish list at a much more affordable price point. And so I got this one in and I really, really liked it. And I decided to keep it around for a little while. So there are a few things that I don't have here because I don't feel like going out to the car because when you got a broken foot, things just don't flow as easily. But in my car, I have a new um, Smart Pack triple stitch halter. Um, leather halter for Leo. That's going to be a show halter. So I will have another tack call because I got to get name plates, <laughs> name plates for a bunch of stuff. And what else do I have? And I have a weather beater cooler also for Leo and Lumi because they wear about the same size. Um, it's the cooler that has the mesh in the bottom and then the fleecy cooler jersey knit up top. And I think that is it. So thank you guys so much for watching. My phone's about to die so I'm hurting. Please leave a comment and like below. I hope to get more into YouTube and have more fun with this and just see what happens. So thank you guys for watching. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,